Okay, um, vitamin D, vitamin D3 specifically, and we're not messing around here. We got 10,000 IUs, okay? I remember, I think, <laughs> you know, a couple years ago and not too long ago, the, the recommended daily dosage of vitamin D was like 400 IUs. You know, so you buy a multivitamin and you think that you're getting all your bases covered and there's only 400 uh, IUs inside the, the multivitamin. It's like, dang, like, this is a little bit out of proportion with the other stuff. Um, research is now finding that the body, especially if you're vitamin D deficient, like um, I was, I got it. I'm not sure what the range that it should be is, but my vitamin D on my blood reports from years ago was like a 30, okay? And I think it should be like between like 50 and over 100 or something like that. Uh, maybe like 110, don't quote me on that. But, so I was deficient. And, you know, you think to yourself, well, how much you know do you need to take to get that vitamin D back in range? And, uh, let me tell you folks, 400 IUs is not gonna do it. 1,000 uh, is not gonna do it. 2,000 is not gonna do it. it. It takes, I mean, you need to take some serious, 10,000 is um, it's pretty hardy, I think. And I don't just take one of these a day. I usually do about three or four a day. Um, I haven't gotten my vitamin D checked in a while, but um, I feel that it is, uh, you know, in range, if anything, maybe it's a little bit high, but, you know, I don't feel any concern to back off at this point. Uh, you know, um, also, you know, it's a little bit weird taking the sunshine inside a pill form. I don't think you can really ever uh, you, you really compare the benefits of going outside and and being exposed to the, the natural sunlight, you know, it kind of makes you feel good. It's good on your skin as long as you don't stay out there for too long. It's also good. I've done a lot of research about um, uh, the sleep circadian rhythm and how that relates to light, how it affects the, the thalamus. Uh, is it hyperthalamus? Part of the brain that's sensitive to light. So we need light. Light is super, super important. Um, you know, depending on what you subscribe to in terms of evolution, maybe we were plants at one time, who knows, but part of life, you know, it, you know, if the sun didn't exist, no life would exist. So we all need light. Um, and it's interesting that science has actually kind of packaged this and, you know, identified that, I guess, you know, whatever molecules that light consists of or elicits, here it is in a tablet form. So, you know, this is not uh, to say all I need to do is have vitamin D3 and I'm fine, I've met my requirements, but um, I think it's interesting because when I was going through that, that health challenge and having low vitamin D, um, I was trying to get out. Now it was winter time, so it was not easy to get the vitamin D, um, but, this pill form actually did help. So I'm going to say that you kind of need both. Um, unless you're just outside a lot. And you don't need to be outside and, um, you know, in direct sunlight. That's probably not the best way to do it. Because especially now with the ozone, like the, our atmosphere is so thin. And you will get burned if you are not careful in a very short amount of time. So, but if you stand in the shade and you're outside, still that UV rays, those UV rays are bouncing off, you know, they're being reflected off surfaces and your, your body is still getting the good benefits of, uh, of the sunlight. So if you're cooped up in an office all day and you're trying to increase your vitamin D, um, this is definitely a way to go. Don't beat around the bush and try a weak dosage. Um, this is just my recommendation, 10,000 I use. And I, you know, I just told you that I take four, three or four of these a day. Um, seem to be well tolerated. I also try to get out into the sun, um, you know, in the morning when I drink my, my smoothie. And um, I've experimented with sun gazing. Um, really not my thing. 
and I, I really gave it a good try for on and off for a while now, for many years I've known about it. I'm not really into that anymore. I, I kind of do think it hurts the eyes. Uh, maybe, you know, especially if you try to do it in midday, like that's just crazy. Don't do that. Uh, every, now and, <clears throat> every now and then I will just kind of like look, glance very quickly. Um, maybe that's beneficial. I don't know, but don't stare for any prolonged period of time. My goodness. They also say that the sun gazing is healthy, healthiest to do, you know, during sunrise and sunset. Uh, you know, trust your body. If you're going to do it, if you feel any pain, look away. And then and if you want to look right back at it, that's cool. But don't be like, oh, I'm just like bear it, you know, grit your teeth and bear it. Like that's that's not good. Like listen to your body. If you're feeling pain, it's not good. So just my advice about that. But yeah, vitamin D is super uh, essential. Um, I think they've also linked it to you know, fighting cancer. And uh, it's just one of those things that your body needs. So 400 IUs in your multivitamin is definitely not a lot, definitely not enough, especially if you're not outside, especially if it's wintertime where you're at, you're going to want to supplement with this, uh, you know, with some extra vitamin D. Uh, okay, so that's all I have to really say about this. I, I think this brand is pretty good. I would buy it again. I feel like it does the job. So that's my two cents. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I talk about a lot of different stuff. Um, if you like coffee, I have a, a Keurig coffee um, <laughs> video that's pretty popular. That seems to be the most popular one so far. But I also like to talk about health and vitamins and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's all for now. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.